What's your purpose? Uh, in life? Yeah. It's to heal. To heal others. To better people's life. To uh, For us to have a more of a awakened state. And just, uh, just help people. The purpose is just to have a great time. And to see the world. To figure out my purpose in life. And then do it. <laughs> um, it's in the works. I'm not sure yet. Oh, my purpose in life is to bring others happiness with every interaction I have with someone. So I hope I made you smile a little bit back there, Melissa. <laughs> it's to learn and help others to learn by telling stories and making them laugh. And once you make them laugh, then you can make you can teach anybody anything if you can make them laugh. Because you get somebody giggling, and that that is that they're, they're most capable of learning when they're giggling. So I get them laughing, and then the next thing you know, they're learning something from me. Because I do have two master's degrees from Berkeley. Traveling, I'm just trying to find myself, trying to figure out who I am inside. Make a lot of money and retire. To touch and affect uh, loved ones and people around me and other people that I come into contact with. I'd say to help people. That's my purpose do anything I can to keep someone safe or um, like stay alive, I guess you could say. I decided to be a police officer because I want to make a difference in what people think about police officers and show that we are actually here to help. My purpose in life is to have a bunch of kids <laughs> and have a really nice home to live in. Just trying to make you know, you know, yeah. To live life and raise good children for the world to keep going. I, I'm not, you know, some superstar, like, uh, I don't even have, like, a college degree, you know, but, like, where I work, like, I have the ability to, like, help people get through the minute and the second and maybe an hour, you know what I mean? And the rest is up to them, you know? So, that's all I'm doing. I work at uh, UMass Medical Center in Worcester, Mass. It's called uh, Emergency Mental Health. And I'm just a tech. You know, I get to see like all the gems of society who are just trying their best not to like kill themselves or somebody else. People right on the edge, you know what I mean? And sometimes I can help them. Sometimes I just gotta get out of the way, you know? Um, I think my purpose is to spread awareness for childhood and ovarian cancer. I travel all across the country and I sing for kids and um, people and I try to give them hope and um, the strength to keep fighting. The moment, trying to find creative fulfillment. The pursuit of happiness. <laughs> to uh, just be an artist. To spread joy and be present with life and with people and allow them to shine and be seen and allow them to see me. Just for them to smile, you know, I want to give them something to smile about, you know. I, I don't really know that much about what they're going through, but you know, I can show them what I go through, you know, just through my singing. She only do it for the money, man. She only do it for the cash, all that pay, day, pay, day. have fun and have a laugh. To exhaust uh, as many possibilities that I can with this body as possible. Um, to become enlightened and to reciprocate that out for, for others to become enlightened. Essentially, that's that's my purpose and, and, and it really is that deep for me. It's not, I'm not just saying that to give you some, you know, miscongeniality answer. To try to make it back to my Heavenly Father. I, I'm a Mormon, so I definitely believe in the gospel that I live in. It's a lifestyle, so yeah. To become as successful as I can, so my kids won't have to live a hard life, ever. My boyfriend calls me an amethyst, so I have this ring. Uh, I meet broken people at really random times, I guess, and they kind of just become part of my life. 
and I think that has a lot to do with just how I was raised. I'm a military brat. I've traveled all over the world. Um, been the new girl over and over and over, but always felt at home regardless. So I, I think my life purpose is to, to heal people, to bring people together, to spread love. I try to better myself. I try to look out for my grandkids that I got now. I try to, you know, help them out as much as I can before I so something happened to me because I'm old. I, I don't know. I mean, this is basic, but I guess just live life to the fullest and travel as much as you can because I feel like there's so much to see and do out there. I just recently became a vegan and I would like to become a voice for animals that, you know, they're suffering constantly. You know what? I think, I don't know. I think my purpose is just, it's hard. You know what I mean? I don't think people are born knowing their purpose. I think it's something that like come about like as an epiphany or some sort of way that you would like, like come into, like, you know what I mean? Like a lot of people have to have like something like real life change in order for them to realize what the whole purpose of life is, you know, or towards everybody else. So it's kind of hard to tell you like what my purpose is because I don't think I hit that part of my life, bro. Purpose, oh, it's the music, you know. My purpose, maybe I want to change somebody's life by the beatbox and the music. <laughs> Okay, so you want to switch spots? So you just stand here, it's already recording. Uh, just put on my face and push this button once, it should focus. And whenever you're ready, you can ask me whatever you want. And you can ask me whatever you want. Okay, so ask me whatever you want. Uh, and then you can ask whenever you're ready. You can make it fun, just not political. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so your one question is... The anticipation is killing me. Right? That's how I felt when you walked up to me with that camera. <laughs> Why are you doing this? Alright, um, what is your name? Soraya. What do you hope to accomplish? with this. Why are you here? Just like in general. Like what is your purpose in life as a human being? Why are you created? How do you have the confidence to talk to people like that every day? The one thing you change about your life. <laughs> uh, what inspired you to make films? Can you make a living doing this? How would you define consciousness? Uh, what's your dream? Why did you choose to make this film? Well, my question for you is, what is your theory about zombies? Do they exist or do they not exist? I did not expect that. <laughs> my theory about zombies. So tell me a funny joke that you know. <laughs> or a joke that you've picked up along the line since you've been here in Venice. Do you believe that art can change the world? Biggest misconception about you. What do you feel is the most important human characteristic to uh, to have. 